The exercise today was to simulate a uh, fire in the shafts here at uh, Chalfont St Peter uh, with a number of persons reported as missing. So today has been a fantastic achievement uh, working with Bucks uh, Fire and Rescue uh, and Thames Valley Police. It was a fire affecting multiple floors with numerous people that were simulated to be trapped down there needed rescuing. So the exercise gave our site team a great opportunity to practice uh, their skills around Jessup, uh, the Joint Emergency Services Interoperability Principles, which we've recently done some training on. The benefit of running these kind of exercises with the emergency services is that should uh, the worst happen, for whatever reason, our teams are much better prepared uh, to support the emergency services in their response to us. Um, but also the emergency services are prepared, they've seen our site, uh, they know the kind of conditions that we have on site, they know what our capabilities are, for example use of the crane, uh, the davit arm to winch or injured people out of the shaft. So all round, should the worst happen, we can actually have a much better response. From the emergency response side, things worked really well. There was a tactical plan established quite early on and that plan was carried out from start to finish um, therefore, ultimately, the objectives that we set as an exercise, they were all achieved at the end and the people were rescued from the, the shaft and the fire put out. The next steps for us and for the uh, Fire and Rescue Service is to canvas all of those who attended today and gather their feedback. We'll put that into a lessons learned document and then we can share that with the rest of our sites uh, and if there's anything significant we need to do to improve, uh, we can do that. Today has been a huge success. Uh, we look forward to running further uh, exercises with the blue lights uh, in the future.